<clears throat> All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushah, the Most High God, the, the God of Israel, the Heavenly Father. His true name is Yahweh. And also his only begotten son's true name is Yahweh Shah. Um, peace to the 12 tribes of Israel, making up the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. I do say double honors to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone who've been teaching the truth and sincerity. All right, so getting straight into this, got to do a video going into how we got to acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in all of our ways, man. All right. The fact that we gotta live on this earth amongst wickedness is a, is a um, it's a challenge, you know. It's it's a challenge every single day, having to deal with spiritual warfare, and we can't do this on our own, man. Truth be told, you know, everything that we do, we have to acknowledge Yahweh Yahushua in all our way, and we can't forget why we're on this earth. You see. Because once you start to forget why you're on this earth, you know, you, you start to forget your purpose. You know, you start to forget why you're even, uh, why you were even created. And I'm, I'm speaking to those who have an ear to hear, right? The elect, you know, the elect, uh, you know, those who understand about predestination and understand the mysteries, the secrets, understand what the, the Heavenly Father has called them to do in this life, which is what? to become that living sacrifice you see and sometimes you know you living on this earth you you forget okay you, f you forget your whole reasoning for being here all right so i'm gonna go get this right quick man all right let's go ahead and get the for uh, the book of uh i got second edges right second edges chapter 9 verse 22 it says let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, but let my grape be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. You see? So the most high Yahweh Shai, he said, Let the multitude perish that were created in vain. Right? Majority of these people on the earth, you gotta realize, man, that they were created for, for nothing. Alright, they were created to be of the earth. They were created to basically live a mundane life live a, a regular life and chase success chase whatever they chase in this in this life and, and and that's it and then die and then after after that be reincarnated do it again and get judged and die man and then ultimately be uh judged for the last day all right the lord is not a lot not lord is not gonna let his elect live like everybody else all right you gotta realize the reason why you go through tribulation trial temptation on another level the, the reason why you experience spiritual warfare on another level is literally because you're different all right you stand out you're not of the earth like how shy when he was on the earth he, he he stood out people hated his spirit just for being on the earth man you see but because his spirit was not of the earth they just hated him man you're like a light that shines in the midst of darkness and people there's that saying that people don't like what they don't understand which is true they don't like what they don't understand so therefore that's why you you, you may experience um those spiritual attacks on another levels because those demons they actually know who you are the people don't people when when you know when people give you a hard time or you know people look at you and they got an evil eye you know you irritating their spirits they don't even know why but the thing is you are of the elect man your spirit is of the light therefore you're really just irritating their demons at the end of the day man all right you're thinking that you're gonna you know try to blend in you, <laughs> you, you bro you're not gonna blend in you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb you see and that's the whole reason why we need the lord because if, if we thought we can do this on our own you know we would we would be like a, a target you know, we would be open target man for these demons that's why we need this, the Lord's hedge of protection. We need the Lord's um, protection. We need the angels, all right? We need the benefits of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We don't want to forget the benefits either because sometimes you may forget that there's actually benefits to serving the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in this life, all right? Let me get that. 
let's get this in the book of um, Psalms chapter. Let me see, man. Um, Psalms chapter 103, um, verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who healeth all thy iniquities and forgiveth all and healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction and crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. You know, we don't we don't want to forget the Lord, man, nor his benefits. You know, we can't take his truth for granted. What he's shown to us. He's shown us a lot. And then at the end of the day, he's also given to us the gift of faith. You know the gift of the holy spirit that's something that is not given to many people or if you got the holy spirit you understand the secrets you understand the prophecies you're set apart all right you can call upon yahweh like literally you can call upon the lord when you're in trouble like our forefathers did right with david is a good example when he called upon the lord when all of his enemies came up against him all right who else it, man, I, I'm not even going to go through all the men of the Lord, man. There's too many scriptures that show that, you know, those who trust in the Most High, you call upon the Lord, He'll help you. The people of the earth, the people of the earth, they, they can't do that. They're not going to call upon the Lord and receive help from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right? They're going to get judged. See? So we can't forget that we have help, man. We're not alone, man. All right? Though you go through these tribulations and though you experience spiritual warfare on on another level, you can't let this stuff get you caught off balance, man. You can't let this stuff throw you off guard, man. All right, because that, that's that's a good sign that you're in the truth. All right, when you do stand out. All right, so don't don't let this you know mess with your mind, you know, because like I said, Satan he knows your weaknesses. He he'll mess with your mind. He'll mess, he'll get into your thoughts. And plague your whole mind, you know, plague your whole, plague your whole thought process. I make you think you're crazy, make you think all of these different things. That's like Cyrax says, man. Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart, all right? Cause that that plague is no, is no joke, man. Huh? All right. All right. Let me um, you know, get this, man. John 16 and 33. All right, like I said, that's that spiritual warfare. You gonna you gonna go through it, you know. At the end of the day, you know you're, you're you're gonna you're gonna experience tribulation, trials. You're gonna experience hate from people, evilness. Spirits are gonna look at you and, and be envious. People are gonna look at you and and be envious, have an evil eye towards you. Why? Because you're radiating. And you 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 in the light and they're not. Alright? They they know that you 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 at peace and they're not. Alright? Literally, you what what's it say in the book of Isaiah 26, man? 26 and 3. Let's get it. It's locked it, man. Basically it says, you know, Yahweh Shim Shah keeps you at perfect peace. Alright. Alright, it says those thou will keep him at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Come man. That's another benefit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, keeping you at perfect peace. All right? He, he giving you understanding upon everything, man. Yahweh Shem Yahushai gives you wisdom, knowledge, understanding. All right? To order your life aright. All right? The Lord gives you the knowledge that you need when you have questions. The Lord always is going to supply the answers. All right? He's not going to leave you destitute, man. That's why you got the comforter. The Holy Spirit, man. All right, literally he comforts you on this earth, man. When you're going through your tribulations, when you're going through your trials, when you're going through things that you may think you're the only one going through, you realize you're not the only one going through those things, man. All right. It says the same, same, um, same things are accomplished in your brethren in the world, man. All right. So there's always somebody going through something similar to you. At the end of, the, at the end of the day. All right, it was made for you to overcome. That's why you got to create that personal relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You got to know and love the Lord for yourself. You don't, you can't really um, serve the Lord just because somebody else is serving the Lord. You got to serve the Lord for yourself. All right, you got you to gotta walk with the Most High. Like I told, like I said, our forefathers walked with God, like Noah, 
you know, he walked with God. Enoch walked with God. What does that mean? It means that they created a personal relationship with the Heavenly Father. All right. Abraham walked with God. And you are going to walk with God. You're walking with God right now. All right. Through the way of the Holy Spirit, man. All right. So um, I'm going to get this here in the book of John chapter uh, 16 and 33. These things have I spoken unto you that, that in me you're going to have peace. In a world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. You see, Yahweh Shah said, man, be of good cheer, he's overcome. You, you think you're going through it. You know, you think you you being tried on another level. Hey, imagine what the Lord was going through. Imagine what Yahweh Shah was going through. Like I said, man, although this life, you know, this truth may get tough, sometimes you may end up straying off the path i mean that's gonna happen you know sometimes you may stray off the path and forget why you're doing what you got to do on this earth all right there's certain men who maybe unintentionally they ran away from the will of the lord they were running away from their lot like you have jonah jonah for instance the lord told jonah to go prophesy but jonah didn't want to go prophesy against nineveh and the lord had to show Jonah that regardless of what you want to do, you're going to do what I say. All right, so the, the Lord had a whole fish swallow up Jonah, all right? That, yeah, for three days. And then, and then that, that's how, then Jonah knew, okay, now, yeah, you got to do the work. You got to go out there. You got to preach the word, man. You got to go out there and prophesy, you know, and, and brothers may find yourself in that same situation where you may feel yourself maybe unintentionally running away from suffering. All right, you may you may start to get tired of suffering. All right, you may be trying to do your own thing. You may you may try to forget about the Lord, man. But if you are of the elect, that can't be possible. All right, Yabashim Shai, he's not gonna let you get too far in your ways before he has to show you that you're gonna do what you're supposed to do. All right, All right let, let's just say you start to try to do your own thing. You start to try to uh, uh, you know, get proud and do your own thing. Maybe the Lord might take his hedge away from you, not necessarily taking that hedge completely off of you, but he may take the hedge away from you a little bit just so that you can experience what it's like if it were to, if you were to try to live life without him, right? I'm going to say that the Lord may try to show you what, the Lord may give you a glimpse of what it will be like if you really want to live the life without him. You know, and then, and then all of a sudden you you start going through hell, man. Like all of a sudden you start you start getting hit with spiritual spiritual warfare like never before. And maybe you know you know you and then you know why, all right? And then you start to realize, man, I was messing up. And then you gotta go. Then you really gotta go praise the Lord, man. And then you gotta go ask for forgiveness. And then you gotta go do the right things now, all right? The Lord, <laughs> that's just a cycle, man. Like the Lord, the Lord will let you do something. All right, for a little while, but then he'll show you straight up that, look, you're not gonna do what you wanna do. You're gonna do what I tell you to do. All right? All right? And that's a good thing, man. That, that That's truly a good thing, man. It says, blessed is the man whom the Lord corrected, basically. All right? Blessed is that man who, who Yahweh Shem Yashai corrected. All right, he doesn't allow you to, to go too far. With, there's 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 many scriptures. There's, there's one in Second Andrews I like. It says it's a good token of his goodness when he doesn't allow um, evil doers to you know basically keep on doing their works of evil. All right, you go ahead and get you that judgment in before he's got to completely destroy you. All right, and that's why um, the Lord will whoop you, lower chasten you little by little in this truth, so that. When all hell breaks loose, when judgment does come by, you don't have to part, you don't have to partake in the full-on judgment at once. All right, like some of these heathen and people are gonna have to partake in, man, all at once. All right, yeah, man. Anyways, uh, I wanted to do that video just because you know it was on my spirit because it's something I've been going through. Uh, I've been I've been dealing with the spirit of forgetting what I'm doing on this earth. All right, and realizing. That I can't do this on my own. I can't do this without the Lord. I can't become, you know, what I want to become 
because that's what I want to do. I got to do what the Lord tells me to do. All right. And I have to confess that as well, man. So slack you for that. And, you know, Lord willing, brothers will do better. All right. We got to do better. I mean, what else can we do? All right. So, uh, you know, I want to go ahead and give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakodash. Till next time, Shalom.